Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, you're on my lap, so when I wave and talk and move, you might jiggle, so forgive me. Um, I'm sitting on my 30 degrees, feel a little bit more like a human. I can actually tell, I feel like the progression of getting toxicity of the medication level, like I started to feel like progressively worse and worse and worse every day. I'm starting to feel the opposite. Like I'm feeling progressively better and better every day. I still have lots of issues. Do you see all the rashes? Not to gross you out with rashes, but all of this is here and here. Um, I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing a skirt as a tube top dress because I'm trying to let my back not be covered um, for the most part of the day. I was actually laying on my side till just recently, so I thought I would sit up and vlog. Jim and I, well actually Jim, I just helped, um, hung those lights that are from Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia and Scott. Sylvia is the sweetest. Um, Sylvia sends me beautiful, positive white light messages every single day in the mail, in the email. And uh, Scott sends me corny jokes, which I love. Sometimes I can't even respond, but I just, uh, I just you know, Sylvia, I absorb each and every message. Um, she sent me these because my previous lights, oh, okay, they were right here a second ago. It was right here a second ago. Where did it go? Uh-oh. Did Jimmy take it? No, here it is. <laughs> My previous lights only had an on and off switch. So she sent me ones with a remote control. So I can turn them on and off. I could set a timer. I could change the color. Right now they're set for orange because March is Kidney Cancer Awareness Month. And orange is Kidney Cancer Awareness Color. Yay! So this is the first video that I'm making since my response of... Not my response, since my... Um, test results came back. So first thing I wanted to say was, sorry about not doing a voiceover in the video yesterday. My mouth has been worse the last two days than it has been like the whole time. What I'm thinking, the reason I'm thinking is, is it's one of the last places that the toxicity can come out of. Also, the other reason is because my lips are better. I stopped uncovering them. And I feel like now my my mouth is actually getting oxygenated and it's getting like drier. So I'm getting like the all day sensation of what it's like when I talk too much. So what I have been doing, I didn't, I didn't, I had them all uncovered all day yesterday and today I had them covered most of the day. Uh, well, till about 12 noon and uh, it does really help. But I just uncovered them to do the project with Jim and to sit and talk to you guys. So that's what we're doing. I am so blessed with all of your beautiful cards and gifts. And I love you all very much. And I am so grateful um, that you're here. But remember, like I've always said, nobody is required to send anything. And nobody's ever asked to send anything. But I do appreciate everything that's sent. Um... So, okay, so I did actually hear officially from the doctor after I vlogged Friday. Technically, I heard from the, the doctor's, uh, the nurse from the doctor's office. She said, she could hear me smiling on the phone and I could hear her smiling on the phone. She's like, Darianne, I'm like, yeah. She's like, it's so-and-so from Dr. A's office. I was like, Hi. She's like, well, you've probably been waiting all day for the news on your report. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he said, everything looks amazing. And he's really happy with the progress. And we've got lots of moving forward tumor shrinkage. And there's other things that I have questions for. He's, she said, but if there's nothing, per if there's nothing pressing, he'll see you in two weeks. And I was like, because they'll see me at my infusion. And I was like, I'm excited. I was like, yeah, I'll see you then. Now, it's less than two weeks because it's on a Tuesday, but so it's like a week and two days now, but um, I'm very excited. 
I almost wish they would have, like, allow you to get scanned after a two-week break just to see, like, you know, did, did anything happen in that two weeks, but... I think I'm still at such toxic levels that nothing's really happening. <laughs> My back is improving. There isn't much dryness right now. It's just red, um, which is different. Um, the same thing with the patches here. This one has still dryness, but this one is just red on my legs as well. Um, so that's all of like the medical progress update. My sinuses are still fakakta. My mouth is still fakakta. My nether regions still have their issues. They are healing though. Those are getting better. Like my lips um, on my face are getting better too, you know. Uh, let's see. My appetite, mm. um, because my mouth still hurts, like a light, I almost having adverse reactions to food. Like food is causing me pain, so I'm like, oh, I don't want to eat anything. But I can drink water again, and I missed water. I missed water. Got my big cup. Big cup back of ice water, yum yum yum. Oh, it's amazing. I think it's probably like a gallon today. Excuse me. I know water will also help take the medicine out. Maybe possibly part of the reason I got so toxic before was because I couldn't really drink as much as I should have or needed to. Just my mouth wouldn't allow it. My mouth would not allow, like, barely sips of water. It was crazy. It's kind of crazy, people. It's kind of crazy. Um, Jim made me a beautiful omelet this morning, and I was able to eat it, which was good. I have coffee um, that he made me, iced coffee, which I'm excited about. It's actually cold brew because I can't drink iced coffee just yet. I tried. Tried to drink coffee, regular brewed coffee, and it's still too acidic. Like I said, because my mouth isn't better yet. But, um, so I I hope this week continues to show improvement every day and how I'm feeling. Still very tired. Again, that visceral tired, not physically tired. Physically, I want to, like, climb a mountain. You know, even my even my bad leg feels good. Um, the wounds are the same on my legs. Um, they're not really healing. As a matter of fact, the one on my hip opened up, too, the other day. So, that wasn't good, but... I'm very happy with the test results. So, go a little bit more into depth, if that's okay, of what the test results said. So the test results showed that the tumor on my rib is, we're going to say calcified. The word is O-S-S-E-O-U-S, -S -S -E which basically means it turned to bone. But we'll say calcified, even though that's not the right word. The My rib tumor is gone. The one on my T7 is gone. There's improvement in both my shoulders, but they had radiation, don't forget. So my kidney, this is the part that was weird. The original CAT scan report said the kidney was 9.1 by 6.8. This one said it shrunk from 8.8 to 5.4. No, 8.8 um, .8 by 6.8. And I was like, wait, it wasn't 8.8, it was 9.1. Like, what happened to that first 0.3? And I don't know. The only thing I can think of is I did get a chest CT at the, um, at the hospital. So maybe it had shrunk a little bit by the time I went to the hospital. Like, maybe he's looking at what it was the last time it was checked. That was the only thing I could think of. So... 
That was weird. Sorry, it's just this weird noise. It's not like a bird injured outside. Nope, okay. Um, anyway, either way, that the tumor has shrunk. Um, quite a bit, actually. Um, two-thirds, about two-thirds the size of what it was, the one in my, in my kidney. Obviously, the tumor in my distal femur was scraped out and replaced with cement. But one of the tumors in my femur has calcified again. My upper femur. Um, uh, I haven't seen the actual pictures. So I don't know about all the ones like that were in my pelvis. Because they weren't mentioned in the original report. They weren't mentioned in this report either. Um, it looks like the tumor in my... The one that I'm wearing the brace for is calcifying as well. It's turning into bone, which is great. Um, didn't mention my clavicle. Didn't mention my scapula. I'm trying to think of where else I knew I had one. The one on my hip, my left hip, that's actually on my pelvis. I didn't mention that one either. But we'll ask the doctor when we go see him, you know. Um, I honestly didn't know it was possible. Like, I had faith it would be. Like, I thought it was more going to be more miraculous. But it's actually, I guess it is miraculous to anybody. But the when I had my last KCA meeting, the one girl said she was stage 4, grade 4. And the last, her last scan was an NDE, no, no NED, which is no evidence of disease. Um, but she, I think she'll always be stage four, um, I think, because of where, of how it metastasized in, initially. Um, but I don't know how that works exactly. So I'm going to ask the doctor about that when I go next week. Actually, you're probably watching this on Monday, so it'll be like a week from tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> um what else what else what else what else um trying to think I'm hoping to go out into the uh living room next weekend to take down the Christmas tree you heard that right um Jim has not been wanting to do it without me um and he's been waiting till I feel better, which I appreciate because I love him. One of the reasons I love him so much. Uh oh, here he comes. You he heard us talking about him. I'm just putting this in here because. No, you can come. I'm done. Yeah. I'm not ready for it yet. Okay. Love you. Too. Don't forget about meds. I'm supposed to remind you about meds too. Oh, I won't forget. Okay. Um. Mom went out this afternoon, so waiting to see if she's gonna eat with her friend or if we're gonna, if he's gonna make dinner and everything. So, trying to figure out the day. But, um, you know, it's been kind of miserable with the side effects, partially because I didn't know what to expect, and mostly because I don't know how to have a plan for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, like now I know what I need to do when my mouth gets like this and how to treat it and then what to do with my lips. Now that I know if my lips get like irritated again, what to do. And the same thing with my bottom. Now I have a good rhythm, a good method on my bottom. Does it still hurt? Do I still cry every time I pee? Yes. However, I cry less and less each time. Do I still cry every time I have a bowel movement? Yes. However, <laughs> but I'm saying, so we know how to treat it. Um, that kind of thing. So if I had to, if he said to me, look, we'd have to do another six months of the oral medication with these terrible side effects or another three months on and two months off, two weeks off, three months on, two weeks off, and you would be cured. I'd be like, let's go for it. You know what I mean? Like as miserable as I was, I was and as terrible as I don't feel, but if I could get rid of it all. If, if 2022 can be spent 
be cancifying myself. I don't really care. I don't, I don't let 2022 go. If you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah. And Jim has been in a fantastic mood ever since he heard. I got the news at like, I think, I feel like it was like 9.30 at night and I read it. Um, and I rolled over and I, and I said, I hate to wake you up. I'm so sorry. He had to work the next day. So I'm like, honey, I don't, I'm sorry to wake you up. I just want to let you know, I got the report back and it looks really good and everything's shrinking and things are gone. And then he's like, thank you for waking me up. And we kind of had like a big hug cry and, um, then he went back to sleep and he had a great weekend so far. He's feeling a little it now, but you know, he kind of feels that way on Sunday nights anyway. The weather's kind of ugh too, which doesn't help, but he doesn't really, you know, Sunday nights make everybody blah, gotta go back to work tomorrow, blah, blah. so that's it. So this isn't going to be a super long vlog. I just wanted to come on again. My mouth doesn't really allow me to talk all that much. So, um, just wanted to come on and update you all. Um, and tell you, you're like, yay, thank you for all of your prayers and your well wishes and your white light and your positive vibes. They all have working. They're working. Thank you for praising Jesus in my name because it's working. It's working. So thank you. <laughs> Listen, I love you. And if nobody's told you today that you're loved, you can always come by and hear how I love you, okay? All right. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to pop on here and add to this video because I was having such a really good day today. And I ate my dinner and I had some egg drop soup and some really, really thin rice noodles with a couple of pieces of beef that had like no seasonings on them, like at all, like no soy sauce or anything. It did have, I shouldn't say it had no salt. It almost like they, they make it in broth, but they just serve the noodles. I don't know how to describe it. But I'm sitting here and I was helping Jim. I was pairing the socks while he was folding the laundry. And I wanted to just say that I started to really feel awful, like really, really bad. Like I'm gonna cry. Everything's just starting to really hurt really bad. I just took my pain meds. But, you know, I always want to share with you guys because it can turn on a dime. And I don't want you to feel like if it turns on a dime for you, then you're an anomaly. And I also want to let you know that just because it turns on a dime doesn't mean your whole day was ruined just because your night was crappy. Um, so I had a really good day today. I felt really well. Like I did, I did lots of things and I felt really good. And uh, now I don't. But I'm going to go to sleep and hopefully get some rest. Hopefully my mouth medicine kicks in soon. I'm about to cover my lips and stuff to help. And I love you. And I just wanted to say that. Bye.